Hey guys, Doge here, and welcome back to War Thunder. And in this episode, we're going to be playing Churchill Mark III. Now, hold on, let me just look. So, this is a 4.0 heavy tank in the second rank for Britain. And let's compare. So, it's a lower. It gets to fight lower BR than the KV-1, which is good. Alright. Okay, so... It's around the same BR for that KV-1. Yeah, 4.0. Germans, they don't get a... heavy tank of that tier. And I won't even be fighting any German heavy tanks, which is good because... They are monsters to go against. And let's just check. It's a joke, really. With the, uh... Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, so America doesn't have heavy tank at tier 2, and that's an entire BR higher than what we have, so... Yeah, we're, we're more or less the only heavy tank in 4.0 besides the KV-1 and on that note the tank armor because that's the main thing of heavy tanks isn't that bad Let's see front on we have around nine almost 90 millimeters of effective thickness Things can still go through it a bit too, but you have to watch out for that. So, what you do in this tank is that you turn right about there, and that's that gives you the perfect angling. Because if you look all around here on the front plate, you get more than 100 millimeters of effective thickness, and on the sides. Look at that. Up to up to almost 200 millimeters. Right at the end there. Then over here, once again, over 100. And the sides, just don't even think about it. And same story back here. From a certain angle, it ends up being quite powerful. Now, one thing that's also good about the Churchill is that with the armor, there's times when you can be able to deflect shots that you didn't angle yourself for. And as an example, I had the replay saved, but I was on the second battle of Alamond map. I, this is when I first got it. I got shot right about there in the transmission. Yeah, right back there. So, I was stuck in gear. So, then, you know, because I, I was stuck going very slowly forward and if I took off the acceleration then I couldn't get back going, so I was sitting here, enemies were shooting at me from this angle, and I was continuously driving, so I brought the gun about, and I, what I did is I took a shot at him, and I turned it this way to angle it, bounce it off, gun reload, shoot again, angle again, and I was able to take out two enemy tanks before I was finally brought down. but. This goes to show the armor on it. Right. 76 millimeters. That's that's almost the. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, 76 millimeters is more than what the mantle 
Yeah, it's more than what the mantle of a Panzer 3F2 is. And that, hold on, is there any 4.0 tanks I could look at? Right, let's just look at that. No, not modifications. Let's see. What's that look like? Yes, more more armor in the side of a turret than what the mantle of the German tanks is. Anyway, so that's what we're playing today. Churchill Mark III. Maybe we'll do a video on this once it finishes. But anyway, see you in battle. All right, so welcome to El Alamon. El Alamon. In the Churchill Mark III. I was gonna insert a game that just happened, but decided against it because, well, what it was is uh, T-34 somehow penetrating my angled manlet, which is fun, you know, no reason why I play this game. So already got already got shot. It damaged my horizontal turret drive. I thought that was a friendly. But no, that was that was an enemy. That was right there. Let's find out where he is. There he is. Hello. Yeah, I forgot to mention that the uh, turbine's a bit exposed. Never really had that turbine shot out before, but I didn't see why that would be a problem. Kind of big turbine. Come on, repair, 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 repair. get for taking on my driver. Get shot in the side. Got him down. Oh. There's no there. So. Oh, almost got him. That 17 pounder can do a hurting. Oh, yeah, driver's hedge too. Let's get some revenge on these guys. Some sweet revenge. Should be over there. Oh, that's 
looks like our Werble went to the bottom. No, that's the end. That's a regular end. Not oh, the seventh pounder. There's a medium tank over there too. That's all it takes to completely knock you out. We're going to unventure territory. Enemy tank. Sounded like it was a lot closer than it actually was. to go. Let's try to drive. Actually doing better in the church uh, Cromwell than it was in the church show, which is funny. And then again, the Cromwell we didn't put ourselves in that position because face it, we really can't do that. But you did see earlier how many shots the church show can take if you don't shoot the her drive and if you ain't go. But if your angle, that's the only thing that you gotta do is the driver ports and the turret drive. That's really the only place I can but it's like we're closing in on their spawn point. That's a nice spawn cone going. Excellent. Let's head down to A. 
Yeah, I actually saw a Fly's video on. It was like this uh, M103 gameplay, and he just got stuck. Hopefully, he, this guy doesn't drive on the Good. I just pull. Come on. Come on. Don't get stuck. Just find a place and pull. Paul. Speaking of Fly's video, this exact same thing happened. So that guy kind of nice. wrap this up as a 
review of the Cromwell. So we can have that. So, that battle actually gave us enough to get the newest shell. So now we go from 112 to 113. But we maintain more velocity to our shell. It's armor piercing cap, ballistic cap. And because this is ballistic cap, we're going to have more explosive damage inside. But yeah. So, as you might guess, with the flat armor like this, not one of the strong suits of this tank. Even if you angle it, it's barely what you get from the flat piece of the Churchill. So, just have to watch out that you don't get shot. But, the gun is great, and also it's great. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say the ammo location, but clearly it's... Well, it's worse with other tanks, like the T-34s and such. The not-so-smart ones will load up a full load, and the entire turret is full of ammunition, so you just place a shot in there and blows it up. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and be sure to subscribe.